Hello, my beauty buddies. I am here with Amani Sharif. We are here at DHC Skincare's headquarters in California, and I absolutely love this brand. I found it about 20 years ago when I had a catalog sent to my house, actually over 20 years ago, <laughs> and it's back when I had to write a check and send things in, and they had little samples in there, and I didn't even know what cleansing oil was at that point, and uh, yeah, so that was like a really good move to put that in there, and they still put that in if you get those catalogs. Yes, we do. And um, <laughs> so it was fabulous, and I loved it, and I ordered from it, and then over the years, and you kind of lose touch with things, and then I rediscovered them a couple years ago, and I didn't realize that they were based right here, and so they were nice enough to let me come down here and ask them some questions about the brand, because I'm a fan, and I think they have really great quality products, and the price is really reasonable, in my opinion. Well, we're glad to have you. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. So, could you tell me a little bit about how DHC started out? I know that there's a really interesting story about uh, how the, the founder traveled and, yes. and found <laughs> olive oil and... Yes, story. definitely. So DHC was founded in the 70s back in Japan. Um, so Mr. Yoshida, who was the founder, he was already a successful, established businessman and entrepreneur in Japan. Uh, and he decided to go and travel the world, enjoy his success. Uh, and while he was traveling, he wound up in Spain, uh, met with a gentleman whose family had this olive farm in Spain. They've had it for over 200 years at that point. And they grew organic olive oils that were very, very high in antioxidants. Mm -hmm. So um, Mr. Yoshida basically took his knowledge of Japanese herbology, uh, talked to this guy, put two and two together, and was like, I have something here. Wow. Uh, and Very ahead of his time. Yeah, right? definitely. Yeah. And through you know a little research and some work, uh, they developed olive virgin oil, which was our first SKU, uh, which we still sell today. Uh, and it's made of 100% virgin olive oil. Yeah, and that's the ingredient that's in most of your products, right? Yeah, so our line is actually founded on this basis of olive oil. Um, this specific olive oil, which is organic and, like I said, high in antioxidants. Uh, the way we produce it allows us to use it directly on the skin without having to worry about clogging pores or getting any reactions. So, yeah, the way we create um, our olive oil, it's very unique to DHC, and it allows us to create product that doesn't harm the skin. Um, it's great for people people who have sensitivity to the skin, um, you're not going to have to worry about your pores getting clogged. Yeah. I actually just, um, you're going to laugh at this, <laughs> um, my niece was asking about new types of, of skincare. She has more oily skin, and so I brought some of my DHC products, and I brought some little containers, and she has mm. some containers, and the funny thing was that, so I'm sitting there, it was a Super Bowl party, and I was actually like cutting up my soap, uh -huh. my soap is like cut up, it's really funny, <laughs> and then I was filling little containers with the deep cleansing oil, because she has more of an oily skin, and mm -hmm. she was thinking, oh gosh, putting oil on it, I was like, no, no, really, it's, it's okay. Yeah. And like, I actually have the moisturizing one. There's, oh, that's very cool, you guys. There's a, a new product out. Um, maybe we should real fast segue into that one. Yeah. Um, yes, made for us dry skin girls. Although I had no trouble at all with the, the deep cleansing oil, but I'm feeling a little bit more moisturized with the new one. Yeah, definitely. I think what you said about your knees is actually really funny because most people have that reaction, especially if they have oily skin. They're like, I don't want to put oil on my skin. That doesn't make any sense. But even if you're like me who barely passed uh, biology. <laughs> you have to remember that oil fights oil. So even if you have oily skin, do not be scared of using an oil-based cleanser. Um, it's great for the skin. And like you said, deep cleansing oil is kind of that one size fits all and works for every type of um, skin. But if you do need a little bit more moisture, a little bit more hydration, whether it's because you have dry skin or it's just because of the winter, um, giving you little uh, dry patches, Olive concentrated cleansing oil is perfect to like quench that thirst in your skin. So what are the main ingredients in the new olive concentrated cleansing oil? So vitamin E is in there as well as olive fruit oil and those are perfect for hydrating your skin as well as soothing your skin and blocking in that natural moisture throughout the day and night. <laughs> now we know what the difference is. There we go. <laughs> so this is the product that we were just talking about, the brand new cleansing oil. And what's really interesting that I didn't know, I just kind of assumed that you know, you're probably pressing the olives wherever you buy them, but they're all shipped to Japan? Yes. So tell us about this and R&D and all this yes. stuff that we have over there. I didn't realize that. Yeah, so all of our products are actually still made in Japan. And with products such as olive concentrated cleansing oil, deep cleansing oil, olive virgin oil, and really all of our olive essential products, we still have those olives coming in from 
Spain to Japan. Wow. Everything's made in Japan from packaging to actual product. We have three R&D labs in Japan that they're still working on formulating new products and discovering new innovations. Nice. Yeah. And then in Japan, you're one of the huge brands, right? You're just a little bit newer to the United States, right? Yeah, so in Japan, we're actually the number one direct-to-consumer skincare company in Japan. Uh, if you go to Japan, DHC is kind of everywhere. I haven't been, but I've been told <laughs> DHC is everywhere. And it's interesting because in Japan, DHC is not just skincare. Uh, DHC goes way beyond. We actually have a sake company. Oh, I like that. <laughs> yeah, I'm a sake toner company. <laughs> Next, stay tuned. <laughs> like it. Yeah, so it's, it's actually interesting to see how DHC has grown, but skincare is our baby. It's, it's at the heart. Awesome. It's wonderful. You guys might have seen my other video I did on these. This is one of my very, very favorite products that they have and it's less than eight dollars a box you get 50 of these and these are the olive virgin oil swabs these things are magic you guys so it looks like a q-tip but it's so much more mm -hmm. <laughs> so these are pre-soaked in olive oil and if I had a mirror I would do this but I mean basically you just go into your water line you know when things get stuck on the inner corner and just you know, just grab them here I'm sure I have something yeah see look ta-da <laughs> <laughs> Not too yucky, but really, and the beauty of it is, is that even if you go under and fix something, it doesn't leave a residue. Um, it really doesn't. I mean, it's it, it it picks up what you need, but doesn't leave residue, and it's really gentle. Um, I in my video, I had tried some other ones by another company, but it said don't put in your ear. I'm thinking, how are you gonna put this in your eye? If you can't even put it in your ear, you know, and, and I'm always, you know, you're usually fixing things around you. I don't want to see you somewhere else, but these are wonderful. And what I like to do is if I use this in the morning, I just leave this little end on and then maybe at night get a little eyelash glue or the next day I can use the other end. So they're really versatile and I don't go anywhere without them. And actually the, the true test of this was I was in a... Um, a professional makeup artist class in San Francisco yeah. and you know some of us were having trouble with you know liner and so I went to this girl who's having an issue go, oh here try this fix it and then the person teaching the class was like no not if there's oil I'm like no but you don't understand and she was really like not really into it and then I, it was a class it was like well whatever yeah. try it and then I was like oh wow and I was like giving them out like party favors um, <laughs> and everybody loved them so um, I think these are awesome and if you're a makeup artist you probably want this in your kit yeah, they're great. Makeup artists love these things, but everyone can use them. Just like you were saying, it's great for cleanup. If you ever want to do a wing eyeliner and, you know, mess up a little wing, it's Fix perfect. That. Exactly. Yeah. And they're actually dipped with um, our OVO, so our olive virgin oil, uh, and they really absorb into the skin. That olive oil absorbs into the skin really nicely to hydrate, but that's why it's not going to disturb the rest of your makeup because yeah. it's not going to just sit there on top. It's yeah. going to absorb into the skin. Yeah, I had one of those wonderful moments where I got somehow, you know, a chunk of something here and I was able to pick it up and I just, you know, barely touched my beauty mm -hmm. blender again. That was perfect. So. Yeah. Another tip with these, if you ever have dry cuticles, they're perfect. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah, they're per perfect for Because those other oils, you know, during the day sometimes it's like a little much and it's on your keyboard. And, you know. Yeah. No, this is easy, <laughs> especially if you're only using one side yeah. to clean up. The other side, Moisture. pop it on. I like oh, it. Oh, look at us multitasking <laughs> here. So I'd like to talk about the CoQ10 line. This line is for firming, anti-aging, and I've heard so much about it. I know for a fact that this one, that I'm about to get to try uh, later today, is a Stephanie Nicole favorite. Now let's get into my two favorite essences. So I've been using this for years. This is the DHC CoQ10 lotion. I love this stuff. I think a lot of times people may, you know, you put this out in a cotton ball, it calls a lotion, but it's, um, it's a liquid. It's just really nice. Um, it's anti-aging. The CoQ10 in here is gonna help with elasticity in your skin. I've tried to go without this and I've tried to get other products in its place, but I don't like anything as much as I like this. And it's just really nice. These are one of those products just like vitamin C. It's gonna take some time to see the effects of this. And sometimes you don't even notice really what it's doing until you stop using it. And then you notice your skin looks a lot more dull. That's the way I feel about this product. So um, I will forever keep this in my rotation. She's been talking about her skincare videos forever and I've been meaning to try it and just kind of haven't gotten around to it yet. Uh, so can you tell us about this line and why it's so popular and why specifically this one is so <laughs> popular and what it's supposed to do to help us look our better selves? 
Yeah, definitely. So how familiar are you with CoQ10? Not that much. I just know it's an ingredient that is very popular and supposed to be extremely good for your skin, but I don't know the why. Yeah. I mean, it is very popular in skincare ingredients, but it's also something that your body produces naturally, wow. which is nice. Uh, it actually provides energy to your cells, uh, which obviously helps promote cell turnover, which is great for anti-aging, as yes. we know. Yes. This line, not only is it one of our most popular lines, but it's one of my personal favorites nice. as well. Nice. Um, so I can go over all the steps Yeah, do you want me to help you yeah. so you're not like trying to hold <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so as we know, step one, you're always going to want to start with your cleansing oil. So whether that's deep cleansing oil or it's poor cleansing oil, or it might be the new olive concentrated cleansing oil. Uh, for your step two, for your lathering cleanser, we have this guy, the CoQ10 washing cream. This is really nice. It lathers up very nicely. It's it has like a pretty thick, um, creamy consistency, mm -hmm. but a little goes a long way. So you just need the smallest little drop. Do you put it on a damp face? Yeah, so okay. this is your lathering cleanser. So after you go in with your cleansing oil, you go ahead and just wash your face regularly, mixing it with water. Okay. Yeah, okay. so you got that guy. It smells like, let's see. Oh, it doesn't open that way, right? <laughs> it smells like CoQ10. Yeah, it doesn't. We have much of a fragrance at all. Yeah, we our products we don't add any fragrance into our products, so whatever you smell is going to be from the natural ingredient. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Great for sensitive skin. Yes. <laughs> um, and then, so the next step that you're going to want to do is your toner, which we call lotions. Mm -hmm. So this is the one that you've been hearing about. Yes. So as we know, toners are great for balancing out your pH. Uh, in your skin and really prepping your skin to get that moisturizer and really absorb the moisturizer. Okay. Uh, and then, depending on your skin concerns, your skincare needs, um, we have two different types of moisturizers. So we have the milk, which is a little bit more lightweight. Okay. Um, and that's for somebody who maybe they have pretty normal skin mm -hmm. or they might have a little bit of oily skin and they don't need as much moisture. Mm -hmm. um, or it could be your daytime moisturizer. And then this guy, which is my personal favorite. Oh. Uh, this is really great for all skin types. Uh, it's great for daytime use and it's also great for nighttime use. If you want a more intense moisture um, for nighttime, you can layer it a little bit thicker and sleep with it and it becomes a mask. Nice. Um, but why this is my favorite is because it's an all-in-one. So this, if you want to be really, really lazy, even though I wouldn't advise this, <laughs> if you want to be really lazy, you can skip all your other steps uh -huh. because this guy, it moisturizes, it tones, it brightens, and it also primes the skin. Uh, we found that a lot of makeup artists, particularly makeup artists who work on brides, love, love, love this product. Um, it's great for just smoothing out your skin and giving you a really nice natural airbrushed look. Oh, awesome. um, on days when I want to do a little bit of a makeup detox, I'll just use this, put it on my face, and I'm good to go. Fabulous. Okay, great. Yeah. I'm excited to have you try this. Yeah, I'm going <laughs> to try it. So another product I want to talk to you guys about, I've been using this for, gosh, maybe a year and a half, um, and it's the Astaxanthin Cream, and this is more powerful than vitamin C. And the way it was described to me by somebody, like when I'd been using it for a while, was the Lazy Girl, which is kind of funny, because you said that on your other products, Lazy Girl Morning uh, <laughs> Cream, um, because instead of, like I normally, right, I'm putting on my C serum, and then I'm putting on my, you know, another serum, then I put on moisturizer, and then I put on eye cream, and can go on, but this this kind of does all one and, and on the box here just so it says it says that astaxanthin is a super antioxidant found in salmon considered to be six thousand times more powerful than vitamin c so that's pretty powerful and honestly i think vitamin c is one of the best brightening things you can do i've been using a vitamin c serum for about like 22 23 years mm -hmm. now and i think it's one of the things that has really really helped my skin over time so tell us a little bit more about this little miracle and a little orange little jar here. Yes. Uh, <laughs> let me show you guys what it looks like too. Um, this is a great product. So it's a moisturizer, but it does a lot more than just moisturize. It tones your skin as well as brightens your skin, um, which is really nice. It also has some collagen in there that helps with that anti-aging and to make sure that your skin is being nice and plump. <laughs> uh, but this is, this is a great product whether you have a very complex routine or you're just one of those people who wants one product that's gonna get them on the go, this is great for it. We did an event uh, in London actually back in October because we launched this product in the UK last year. And while we were there, a lot of the people that were in attendance 
we're putting the product right on their hands and just doing a little compare and contrast. Mm -hmm. And you can see how quickly it changes the look of your skin and the appearance and how much your skin looks brighter, which is really nice. I actually went on vacation and forgot body lotion. Oh. <laughs> and I had this in my bag and I took some and I used it on my legs. Oh my gosh. My legs looked stunning. <laughs> it's good to work for THC. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then also, um, as for when you put it on, it's a very kind of a lightweight type of a thing. You don't really feel like you put on anything heavy. So even though it does a lot, it's a very light feel, almost gel-like. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you look at the texture, um, I think people look at the bottle and it, or look at the jar, and it looks heavy and thick, but it's actually like a really nice lightweight cream gel, um, which is great because it absorbs into the skin very, very quickly. And it's great just under makeup. I've used it and I just put my makeup on over with no primer or anything else and it was totally great. So, yeah. yeah, it's pretty lightweight and absorbs very quickly into the skin, which is nice. And it's good for all skin types, right? Yeah, it's perfect for all skin types. Again, this is something that we always say it's a daytime moisturizer, but really you can use it for day or night. Yeah. I use this at nighttime and then use my CoQ10 um, quick gel for the daytime. I usually use that, then I mix in some of the actual, the, the oil, the mm. virgin oil. They have a, of course, a actual oil, so I just <laughs> take a few drops of that, and that's the last thing I do before I go to bed, is put the oil on top. So oh, your skin is very hydrated. <laughs> <laughs> I have to, oh my gosh, it's been dry like forever. <laughs> it's like loaded on. And Manny, now what are we going to do here now? So we're going to play with a very fun little tool called our foaming mesh, and we're going to show you how to use face wash powder with the foam mesh to get the most out of your foaming cleanser. This is the best for travel <laughs> because it's not a liquid. At all. You can carry it on. Yep. You don't have to worry about dealing with TSA at all with this guy. So what you want to do with your foaming mesh, and you can actually use this foaming mesh with any foaming cleanser, um, and it works pretty much the same way. The best way to do it is start it by getting it wet. So at home, you can just run it under the sink really quickly. So you'll see it get it nice and wet. Now you want to open it up right into this middle part. This is where you put your product in. So with face wash powder, and I'll put a lot so you guys can kind of see how it works. And you don't really need very much. A little goes a long a way. A little goes a very long way. And if you don't have the mesh, it works too. It's just not quite as, as foamy. Yeah. So you pop that in there. And then again, if you're at home, you want to run it under the sink, get it wet, and you start rubbing that mesh together. And you'll start seeing this buildup of foam. So once you start building up the foam, you just take the mesh like that, and you start gathering the foam. And then you can use the foam directly to wash on your skin. Yeah. Best thing ever for a dual cleanse. Now we're going to talk about another line that DHC has. This is a Platinum Silver Nano Colloid. And this is great for anti-aging. And it's got a very snazzy, well, a couple of very snazzy ingredients. It's got platinum and silver particles in it. And I know that I've been hearing about silver lately, so I'd love to know more about the products in this line too. Yeah, definitely. So this collection, like you just mentioned, uh, it has particles of silver and platinum in that that really work to help hydrate and soothe your skin. Um, and again, as you said, this is perfect for people who are starting into their anti-aging. So whether you're in your mid twenties, whether you're in your early or late thirties, uh, it's really something to try. Now we have three products in this collection. Uh, the first is going to be your lotion. Um, so that is your toner. Then your second product is going to be your Milky Essence. So this is going to be your serum that will help uh, brighten and tighten your skin. And this is your step right after you tone. And then the third and final step in this guy is the cream. And so that's gonna be your moisturizer. Uh, it's perfect for day or nighttime use. And while it is a cream, you'll see that it has a pretty light consistency and absorbs really nicely into the skin. Yeah, so it's very, very light. And uh, when you put it on, 
it, it really absorbs quickly. I also want to ask you about Japanese skincare. Uh, K beauty is kind of in a rage for a long time, where you have 94,000 steps to getting yourself, you know, together skincare wise in the morning or evening. Um, but Japanese beauty is kind of surging a little bit now, and I know that it, there's a lot of ritual and things like that too. So could you expand upon Japanese beauty a little bit for us? Yeah, definitely. I think Japanese beauty has been around for centuries. Uh, I think there's a lot of great centuries-old proven traditions like double cleansing, which is probably what people know the most about Japanese skincare. Uh, it sounds a little overwhelming to people, I think, at first. Like, I have to use two different cleansers and wash my face twice. But once you start doing the routine, you see how quick and easy it is and how it really transforms your skin. Yeah. Um, I think another aspect of Japanese beauty is the fact that most of the simple Japanese beauty skincare routine is only four steps. So that's your double cleanse, which hits two steps, and then your toner and your moisturizer. So it's pretty easy, um, you know, I'm- so high maintenance. Yeah, I think we are probably people who do many, many steps in our routine, but most people don't. Um, and I think it's a little overwhelming for most mm -hmm. people. Even four steps can be a lot. Yeah. So it's a great way to ease into it. Uh, and I think another aspect of it is the fact that we really focus on strong botanicals, botanicals that are really going to work to improve your skin. And again, they have centuries worth of evidence that it does work, uh, which is also nice because you're not going to have to worry about, oh, what is this weird new product? Has this been tested, this ingredient? I don't really know what it is. We're using things in our products that people have been using for years and they actually work. Mm -hmm. Silver astaxanthin, CoQ10, these are all ingredients that people yeah. know really work and transform your skin. That's great, that's great. Well, thank you so much for all the great information you have given us today. I really appreciate it and uh, for being such wonderful hosts and, and taking me through all the different lines. Of course, we always love having you here. Hopefully we taught everyone something new. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, hopefully we'll see you guys again soon. Bye. Bye.